Hey, I'm just here with Ethan, who's on the Develop It program. Ethan, do you want to tell us who you are, what you do, and how you found out about the program? I am Ethan. Uh, I work in the personal insolvency uh, industry. Um, sorry, what was the other question? <laughs> how you found out about the program? So uh, my wife uh, told me about um, your program and um, I've always been interested in property. So naturally I was uh, interested in doing a course as well. Yeah, cool. And where are you based? I'm based in Springwood, uh, just south of Brisbane. Okay. So Brisbane based. Yep. And insolvency, personal stuff. What, what does that actually mean? For those people that don't know, what's your... Yep, so uh, we work, work in the government and we administer bankrupt estates. Okay. Pretty much what I do. So you've got a university degree, I'm guessing? Yeah, my background's in law and business. Okay, so law degree, completely not property related? Yep. So you're jumping into it. Uh, you've bought property before? Yep, yep. Um, bought a current home in 2018. Okay, yep. And that was... That was your first time you bought a property? I was an only, yes. So. Okay. And I know you guys are looking at buying or were looking at buying another investment property. Yeah. Yeah, we were. Um, yeah, that, that's... It's not um, set in stone yet. We're looking around. We might even upgrade or yeah, look for property or even um, use one of your strategies that you've um, showed in your course as well. For example, maybe subdividing or buying a piece of land and building a property as well. Oh, cool. Awesome. So what, what was your intent with doing the course? Like, why did you, what, what has motivated you? I know you, uh, your wife has said you powered through it, um, in what, two or three weeks. Yep. What's the, what's the real motivation? Why have you decided to do it at all? Yep. Um, well, cause, um, we were looking for a way to supplement our day jobs and I've only ever been, um, an investor. So investing in stocks, uh, and a bit of cryptocurrency as well. I okay. go, um, save for Sandra in, in terms of cryptocurrency investing, um, in terms of other forms of, uh, income, such as a side hustle or business, I'm not really interested in owning a business. So, uh, investing and in property were the, uh, two ways that I was interested in, in, um, developing, uh, an additional stream of income and yeah, naturally I've always been interested in property and what you said in your course about property development being a faster way than property investment to, um, make more money in a quicker time frame. Um, yeah, made me even more interested in completing the course. Okay. And how have you gone with the program, understanding it? Um, and then have you started implementing it yet or are you still on that learning phase? I'm still a learning, very much in the learning phase. I've tried to implement a few things. Um, for example, um, your tips about trying to get more finance um, and maximizing your borrowing capacity. Uh, yeah. I've spoken to the financiers, financiers about that, uh, but other than that, I haven't yet implemented uh, your strategies, strategies just yet. Yeah, okay. I mean, you are learning a completely new skill set. Yep. So I do tell people, and most of the guys that are in the program haven't developed anything at all. They, they're going from that passive investor over to being active and basically the same thing, accelerating what they're doing. Um, I just say, learn all the material, soak it up first. There's some, um, resources and some activities to do like week to week. Um, so have they been helpful? Like the week to week to get your head around the learning and then also starting to take like baby steps before you launch in to, to doing it, you know, full blown. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, yep. Yeah, obviously <laughs> Property development is a very complicated beast. So by breaking it up into seven stages uh, across six weeks, um, you know, bite-sized pieces is definitely uh, much less daunting to start the journey of property development. 
Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I did six years of uni and, and it, it your course, um, is quite structured. So it's, it's almost like a uni course where you've got your slide, um, yeah. you, um, obviously elaborate more on your slides as well. So yeah, definitely, um, the, the structure behind your course and how you set it out in stages definitely helps understand probably development much uh, more easily. Okay. Awesome. Hopefully I've missed out all the boring stuff and it's just the good stuff because, um, we, I don't, I don't know about you, but I didn't want to do a six year uni degree to learn how to develop property. Yeah. Uh, and I went to uni for not quite that long, but, uh, I found a lot of university was all this theory, no practice. And yep. then it just took so long to learn any of it. And then when you're actually in practice, you just use such a small amount of it. Yeah. So I suppose it's a, do you, do you agree with me? It's fast tracked. You're not learning all the fluff. Yeah, for sure. I mean, 95% of the things that you thought I've never heard of before or, or know already. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, especially about property development, for example. And I'm sure most people share my view as well. I always thought it was just, you know, developing a block of town, a block of units or some townhouses or something dividing, but I didn't realize a bit, um, you know, obviously people don't really think about commercial development as much as well. And also, um, being paid filers fees and all that to look for probably for developers as well. So there's, um, definitely a lot more, um, that, that you can do with property other than what I've just mentioned. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So what, just lastly, what are you thinking you're going to do? What's your development strategy? Yep. So obviously being a complete novice, um, the easiest and obviously the uh, least risk would just be to, uh, do a splitter, um, or yeah, buy land and, and build one or two houses on that. Uh, I don't really want to start obviously with me you know, a $10 million townhouse development in time. Uh, for the first project. Yeah. Awesome. And then what, what are you wanting to make by doing that in terms of either as equity or as profit, if you sell them? Um, likely it'll, it'll be profits just so I can roll the funds over to the next project. Yeah. Um, yeah, at, at this stage, I'll pro be happy to just make, you know, 50 or a hundred thousand dollars for the first, um, project. Um, if it can be done within a year. Yeah. Okay. That's easily achievable. I just went through an example in the coaching during the week in Brisbane, a Brisbane suburb where I used an example from somebody else, um, where they'd made about 250 to 300,000, just over 12 months on a one into two lot subdivision. Okay. And they bought the land for just over 600,000. So there's no reason why you couldn't replicate that. Yeah. So. Yeah, fifty to hundred thousand. That is a very, very small deal. <laughs> you could you could easily do that off the first one. Yeah. But if it if it took you even if it took you you know two or three months to learn the materials, and then it took you another couple of months to find a deal. If it took you six months to find that deal for two hundred fifty three hundred grand, would it be worth doing it over the course of the next twelve months? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that's that's a lot more than you know what ninety nine percent of people make. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Definitely um, worthwhile. Yeah, it it comes in, one thing about property development, it comes in big lumps. And after you do that first one, um, you get this big lump of cash and then you can just keep going again. Because the first one, you'll learn a lot of lessons um, just inevitably by doing it. But if you start small, then work your way up or start small and then do multiple. There's no reason. And I, I know guys that were doing two or three of those a year the, like similar to the ones I mentioned and they were making half a mil a year just by doing two or three and they didn't have another day job one guy in particular went like to go fishing so he was out fishing during the week and would literally just do about three blocks like three double blocks a year and that was that was him half a mil a year he was happy yeah um and it kicks out or well, kicks the crap out of working <laughs> for for 40 or plus hours a week and making a lot less normally Yep. So, yeah, thanks for your time. No, oh, thanks, Evan. And appreciate it. And hopefully other people, if they're in the same boat as you, never started or a little bit lost on whether they buy an investment property or not, hopefully they've gotten something out of this by you sharing 
your experience in the program and um, that, uh, that um, you know, a splitter block or a small subdivision is possible for you uh, with the right training. So thanks again, Ethan. I'll leave it at that. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Eves. <laughs>